Hi, my name is Jessica and I work here at Celestron as a product tester. Today I'll be demonstrating how to set up our Nextar SE series. Before we begin, I want to discuss the three most common types of telescopes. The first type of telescope, the one we most commonly think of when we think of telescopes, is the refractor. The refractor uses a lens and is used for bright planetary objects such as planets, the sun, or even our moon. It can also be used for terrestrial observing. The next type is a reflector, which uses two mirrors, first a primary mirror and a secondary 45 degree angle mirror. And that is used for faint deep sky objects because it has a greater light gathering ability. But today we will be demonstrating the 8 inch SE, which is a Schmidt Cassegrain, combines the both of best worlds, the refractors and the reflector. So now we'll begin setting up the tripod. First, we want to adjust the knobs, loosen them to the right, and we're going to extend the legs, and then make sure that the knobs are fully tightened. We're going to do this procedure with all three legs. I'm trying to make them as even as I can so that everything is level. And we're going to make sure that the legs are fully extended. We're going to just tug on each one a little bit so that nothing falls over. And then we're going to take our handy bubble level and make sure that our tripod is level, which in this case it is not. So I'm going to adjust the legs a little bit. It goes a long way. And we want to just get it generally inside the black circle. So now that the bubble is inside the circle, I'm going to attach our accessory tray. The three legs right here, we're going to make sure are aligned with the le tripod legs. We're going to slide it through, and we're going to attach our washer to the top, and then we're going to screw this onto the bottom, our knob. Not too tight, though. Okay. Then I'm going to insert all my accessories for easy access, and my star pointer, just sit right here. Now I will demonstrate how to set up the optical tube. First, we're going to locate all the three feet, and we're going to try to align them up here as best we can. So I'm going to gently lift this up. It's not that heavy. You're going to align them. I'm going to wiggle it around. Oh, got it right on. Then we're going to come down here. We're going to tighten all the knobs to make sure that this doesn't move in place. Last one. And now that all the knobs are securely fastened, we're going to attach our star pointer. We're going to take the bigger end and we're going to loosen up our screws, which I've already done. And we're going to slide it right on. And take the screwdriver. And just tighten the screws. Okay. Next, we're going to attach our 90 degree diagonal. We're going to use the metal part. And we're going to loosen the knobs. Put it all the way in. And then tighten the set screws all the way. And last, we're going to attach our 25 millimeter eyepiece and do the same thing. Tighten the knob and we're ready to begin alignment. So now that our telescope is completely assembled, we need a power source. We can either use eight AA batteries user supplied that you'd insert into the battery compartment or you can purchase a power tank 17 which basically uses a cigarette lighter. So you plug that in. And then you make sure that the cord is plugged in right here below the hand control. Easy as that. And then you power your telescope on. The fastest and easiest way to align your telescope is using our revolutionary sky alignment. And we're going to grab our hand control. And we're going to press enter. And the first method that it has is skyline. So we're going to click enter again. And then we're going to enter our date, time, and location. So we're going to click undo. And our longitude is 118 degrees for here in Torrance, California. So that's correct. And then our latitude, 33 degrees. And then say that it's 8 o'clock at night. We're going to hit 20 hundred. Enter. And we're in standard time. And then we're going to enter the date. So now we're ready to align. We want to make sure that our star pointer is aligned with the main telescope. So now that we've entered our date, time, and location, it's going to say skyline. Press enter to continue. So I'm going to press enter, and first we're going to center our first bright object, but since we're in a room, we're going to pretend that there's a bright object over here. So we're going to slow our telescope to the first bright object I see, 
Remember, it could be any planet, star, or even moon. So once you're in the general area, you're going to make sure that it's centered in on a star pointer. And now it is. So I'm going to come down here and make sure it's in our eyepiece. And now that it is, I'm going to hit enter. And now I'm going to align it, which means to center in the field of view. So I'm going to hit align. Now we're going to do that with the second object. And I want to do it kind of far away from the other object so that it gets an idea. And we're going to go, so I'm going to see another bright star over here. So now that we have our other object in the field of view, general field of view, I'm going to come over, make sure that it's centered in our star pointer. Okay, make sure it's in the eyepiece once again. Then I'm going to click enter, and now we're going to align it. I'm going to hit align, and now our third object. Okay, so I think I'm in the center, general area. So I'm going to go make sure. Okay, it's centered. Let me double check my eyepiece. Hit enter. Now I'm going to align it and click align. Now it's going to say skyline, please wait. Now that our match is confirmed, we can hit undo to see which objects we chose. The first one was Alcade. Second one was Mizar, and the third one was Aliop. So now that our alignment was successful, if I don't know what objects are in the sky right now, I can come down to the bottom of the hand control and click zero where it says tour. And if you use the six and nine arrow keys, you can scroll up and down, viewing all the objects that are visible. And say I want to see the Helix Nebula, click enter, and the telescope will automatically suit to it for you. Once it's finished aligning, it should be in your field of view. But say you do know what's up and you want to see Jupiter, you see Jupiter over there, we can click undo, 